Some folks wonder, what is it about fly fishing? Listen, it isn't exactly the most obvious idea. Using thread to hold together various animal parts in an attempt at imitating a bug, minnow, or beetle, even a questionable likeness of a frog. And who thought this up in the first place, right? Like, for instance, what lunatic picked up a raw oyster and decided, I think I'll just eat that. Or boy, that slimy mushroom growing out of that log sure looks mighty appetizing. Lunch, anyone? But believe it or not, take a hook, add some hair's fur, maybe a little bird feather. Fishers like to call it hackle. Something shiny to make it flash in the water? You could say it's pretty miraculous, if you're inclined toward that kind of notion. Coming to a stream's edge, a fly fisher can feel that familiar anticipation as they scan the water's surface. Are the fish rising? Are they laying low, waiting for any passing morsel? So they try to make a decent choice of a fly and a straight and true cast and hope for the best. And as the fisher watches the fly drift, the real point of all this comes into focus. It's about quiet contemplation a chance to slow one's mind, taking notice of the little things. Because with fly fishing, it's really all about the simple, subtle signals of nature. Maybe because our species is made mostly of water, we are so powerfully drawn to it. Today, the elusive trout didn't come to the fly, but that really isn't the point anyway. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. Fly Fisher will return again soon enough, and in those last few moments of magic hour, as the sun slips behind the tree line, we are privileged to witness another good day's end. And if you're still wondering what's so great about fly fishing, there are other pursuits. You can always take up golf. <laughs>